Welcome back everybody into another daily recap. Today it's Tuesday, it's the 19th of March and we're going to have a look at what happened on the three main pairs, Gold, GBP, GPY and of course GU as you can see. Today was a weird day because of course here where I am it's holiday. So I only took one trade and that was during the London session and after that I didn't look back i didn't i really didn't look have a look at what happened during the, either the rest of the london session or uh, the new york one you can see now i'm just having a look for the first time <laughs> with you guys about the price action here on gbbjby we were coming from for example this is the start of new york we're coming from a sort of order block price action type of market structure and price action uh, between these areas uh, price was sort of contracting and staying in a very tight range of around 12, 10, 12 pips and it will break above and retest this area, not exactly on the dot, but it will uh, yeah, almost retest it before pushing back up. Uh, this is half an hour, 40 minutes after the New York Open. From there, we can see that price gave us some very nice structure breaking above from these highs and giving us a very nice break and retest. You can see that just look, having the look from the price action, this is clearly a trade idea. These are the previous highs, retested under one minute. Also this one could have been a possible um, buy stop situation due to the fact that pr the price is making higher highs and higher lows. We are breaking above these hourly highs and yeah from there price will move more than 37 more than yeah, or a lot i don't know how much in total the yeah, price will move around 90 pips which from gbp jpy it's quite a lot after that we can see that price will give us further trade ideas if you had an area enter over here or after seeing this movement you can have a nice retest of this area for the possible continuation also of course, during the live trading, we might be tempted to have it at this area. That's depending on, I mean, this one would still be okay. We we'll go to TP and then push back down. But if the area is based on the actual PPL as well, then would it, this would be a further trade idea. Then when price is making this new higher high, that's where you have a further trade idea and so on and so on. After that, especially during the late hours, after the London session closed, price went very, very steep in a bullish trend. And now we're going to have a look if even on GPJPY, yeah, so it's basically powered from the, you can see during the late time from the GBP USD strength, uh, GP without the USD, sorry, which we did not move, give the same sort of size, say, uh, real amount of movement the sheer magnitude of movement, but still was able to uh, give the same overall trend pattern. And uh, now we're going to have a look at gold. Gold not giving really too much. Yeah, uh, I had this at the start of the session. I didn't take it because I was in a trade with um, with GPUSD, which I will show you later. Yeah, I don't know, depending on where I had my limit, could have been activated or not. But you can see that this go, uh, dollar strength, the start of the London session, will give us a 70, 60, 70, 67 pips move. After that, price would range basically for most of the session. And yeah, not really, really giving any trending opportunity. Yeah, I mean, it's a big range, yes, but it's not, price was not continuing in any trend whatsoever. So let's have a look at what happened on GBP uh, USD. As you can see, this is the start of the London session and we're going to see my only trade. But there you go. You can see that I had a sell limit over here, which is, as I was saying, at the same time as the uh, gold trade idea that you just saw, got activated with the start of the London session. We'll go around 1.9, 1.7 pip in drawdown just to retest this previous area. And then it will push down first to my partial and then to my final TP at 15 pips. Price would go around 32 pips from there, which is very, very good. 
and then push back and correct all the way up. If we were trading the New York session, yeah, we would have had this area of interest on the high time frame. Okay, uh, so first we have we might see this breakout, so we might have this trade idea. This trade idea will be almost a loss, but at least a partial win when uh, while the actual mm, deeper pullback this one will be 2.2 pips and then this one will go to the final tp as well and then continuation from there mm, yeah very nice yeah and uh and structure markets uh, market structure from there absolutely 100 percent yeah very nice the idea very nice entry so as you can see this was my only trade of the day and uh, boom let's see uh, the partials are always giving more than the full position and uh, yeah at least they are more than a losing position not very much uh, of course probably would have, I would have had more with just a 10 pip tp as you can see with just a 10 pip probably I would have had more profit uh, but yeah we're just losing having a look at it as you know just studying just reviewing you can see further entry over there well this could have been a further possible entry below these lows not really giving the retest yeah not much from there and that's basically it guys uh price action on both on the all the pairs gbp gpy gold let's see Bitcoin is at the 65 case and yeah gold is not really moving too, too much in any clear way the price yeah breaking above might have given some possible fake outs over here yeah possible fake out above the hourly yes this could have been in the hindsight a uh, losing trade and then if we are just trying to get to catch those this one could have been another one bam so I'm glad that I didn't trade today uh, during the, the, the New York session, especially on gold, uh, not to have my profits eaten away. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, very short and brief and quick, but that's what the most important thing is, and see you tomorrow.